It's been a rough month for the semiconductors. Names like Intel, Micron, AMD, NVIDIA, they're all down double digits in June. And speaking of Intel, the company holding off on that groundbreaking ceremony for its Ohio plant, citing uncertainty over CHIPS legislation. They're still committed, Jim, they say, to the investment, to the plant. Well, but, look, they, but to your point, putting some pressure here on lawmakers. Well, I, I had dinner uh, with Pat Gelsinger and lunch with Pat Gelsinger, the CEO of Intel. Twice he made the point that Europe wants them too. And uh, he can be fungible. He will go to Europe. Spend Isn't the whole money. point, though, we have to reshore the manufacturing, make semiconductors in this country? Well, that's the don't point. Don't rely on others in but the supply chain? But that's the point. And he'll do what he has to do. But he's hoping for an Ohio hub. Remember, he's talking about reinventing the entire rust belt and making it into a you know, semi-belt, whatever. And he told me, listen, if they don't get it together, he expects the business will go to Europe. Libby Cantrell of PIMCO, who follows the politics on this stuff yesterday, told me that it should get done. It's just There's too many names and there's too many iterations of this bill well, right now. Well, maybe we're not doing enough to push it. I wonder if the midterms, though, we have to wait till the catalyst. And if the Republicans uh, wait, take control, then they'll then yeah, we'll see something like this Wait pass. for what? Wait to be able to make it so that the Chinese lob a missile at Taiwan? I mean, come on. Taiwan Semi and South Korea are who we leverage. We have mortgaged our defense to those two countries. And Pat Gelsinger knows that. Congress doesn't seem to be aware of it. Uh, they'd rather build bridges to nowhere at an inflationary price because we don't even have construction people. This is the most important defense issue right now if you don't believe in supplying the Raytheon instruments to uh, Ukraine. What about the underperformance of these chip companies? Even yesterday with the Nasdaq hardware. of 1%, they were all people, down. Okay, so people feel that hardware can be cut back but not software. Software has these long-term contracts. It's why I think Salesforce is bottom. I think ServiceNow is bottom. I think Microsoft is bottom. But it's very hard. I, I, I had uh, dinner and, and saw, I spent a lot of time with Lisa Sue. I was in California. And Advanced Micro was at 92. You're having a lot of dinners with chip CEOs. <laughs> well, I have no life. I know. I'm with you. I had dinner with the CEO of Coca-Cola last night. <laughs> Take that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.